Good afternoon. My name is Alice Anderson, and I'm from Corvallis, Oregon. I was first drawn to COA because it was small, seemed to have a tight-knit community, valued hands-on experiential learning, and I sensed that it could cater to my myriad of interests and tolerate my curiosity. I was first drawn to Maine because I actually knew absolutely nothing about it, beyond the fact that it was about as far away from home as possible, and that lobster was actually more important and iconic than nearly anything else, including sports. I wanted to focus part of my college experience learning about what made Maine, Maine, um, to understand some of the aspects of the state's identity and to feel a sense of place so I could make COA a new home for myself. Because of that, I ended up taking some courses that would immerse me in the Atlantic, a uh, very different marine ecology from the Pacific Ocean. Um, so I took marine biology, some ecology courses, and other biology courses. But I also tandem that with a lot of art courses, um, most importantly, animation and documentary video. Um, the summer after my first year, I got a job at the Zone Z Lobster Hatchery in Stonington, Maine. And then two years after that, I worked for the same organization, Penobscot East Resource Center, doing work with scallop fishermen. I was immediately drawn to the complex dynamics between fishermen, policymakers, scientists, and conservationists, and I was also drawn to the unique coastal culture uh, that seems to exist uh, in conjunction with working waterfronts. So all the pieces of the puzzle were kind of coming together in my head. I knew I wanted to tie my experiences that I'd had to a project that could bring me forward uh, to learn more, and also to give me the space to ask some of the questions that I'd been sitting on um, through some of my experiences. So I opted to do a gallery exhibit in the Blum. Um, in a similar vein to Shalise's project, I wanted to synthesize some of my passion in art and some of my passion in conservation and uh, marine policy and ecology. So this is one view of the gallery. Uh, I wanted also to stretch myself a little bit and tie in as many forms of media as I possibly could. Uh, so I integrated installation components, ink drawings, chalk drawings, and of course my biggest interest, uh, interviewing different fishermen from the coast. Uh, James actually has a last name, James Ashman. Um, and so I interviewed James and Andy Mays out of Southwest Harbor. And I want to really quickly play a one-minute clip from a documentary. I'm Andy Mays. I came here in the, got out of the Coast Guard in 1991 and started scalloping that fall. Scalloping was where all the money was. It was a really good occupation. During the 80s and early up to mid-90s, boats that were dragging had 2,000 pounds of scallop meats in a day. Not a ton of whole shell and everything, a ton of meat taken out of there. And nobody could envision, you know, when it wouldn't be that way. And no matter how hard the fishery, the resource was fished, the next year was right back. At some point, the scallop fishery tanked and the lobster fishery exploded. And so now, the lobstering supports my scalloping habit. Uh, so like I said, documentary has been really important to me and I want to continue to pursue it. Um, interviewing and documenting people has enabled me to feel more connected to this place and also to draw and synthesize these stories. I think art has a really powerful ability to not only help me understand concepts more, but make them more accessible for other people. So I wanted, through this gallery exhibit, to bring coastal Maine, the ideal sentiments, visuals, the encounter uh, to COA, um, to perhaps a foreign lifestyle of a college student who may wake up at 2 p.m. Um, by 2 p.m., a lobsterman may have already hauled 300 traps and made a living. <laughs> um, so I wanted, again, to take the time to interpret and represent and communicate via art these ideas to strengthen my own understanding of that. Um, at this point, I'm looking forward to interviewing more people along the coast. I've met some lovely characters that have connected me to new people. And so I'd like to hopefully make some of my small segmented documentaries into a larger piece. Um, and I'm also looking forward to working for Hurricane Island Sci Sci Center for Science and Leadership this summer. Thank you. How 
Um, I felt pretty lucky in that they were very willing. Um, I think part of that was because I had taken the time to work and be part of organizations that they trusted. Um, so it, it's a lot easier to come up to someone and kind of send them a cold email and say, yes, I've been to several of these Scallop Advisory Council meetings and I've, and I've been integrated and I'm really interested in your work. Um, and I think it also helps when you have a base set of questions that are already on their level. So you're not asking what a buoy is, you're, you're able to engage in another depth of conversation. So I think that helped. Thank you.